up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am go pony i do new car track suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2024 bmw m440i grand coupe courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because this is an extremely good looking sedan slash grand coupe whatever you want to call it also there is some exciting new tech for the 2024 model year as well. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so essentially there are two different configurations for the M440i Grand Coupe. You got the rear wheel drive setup starting at $61,050. And then you got the X drive all wheel drive being the one that we have today starting at $63,050. But regardless of the configuration that you go with, the power plant on this one is going to be the same. Powering the beast is a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder, putting out 382 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 369 pound-feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm again power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control that's pretty cool zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 4.4 seconds according to bmw at least but if you look online you're going to see road and track clocked it in at 3.9 seconds so substantial difference there so i'm going with the 3.9 top speed 155 miles per hour with mpg numbers then coming in at 24 in the city 32 on the highway for the rear wheel drive at least and then 22 city 30 on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the 4 series grand coupe i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes are some drive mode buttons located just behind that uh, push button start there they will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity as well so now have we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and throw it in sport let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and by the way there is a full manual shift mode you just simply slide the shifter all the way to the back again and it's going to tell you me what gear i am in up with the digital gauges here which is pretty cool digital gauges are amazing by the way we'll get more into that later but let's now go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right we are sitting in first gear right now it's holding too nice three two one go ah. gosh darn it man <laughs> oh the pop egg <laughs> that was awesome this exhaust note later in the video is i have a feeling it's going to be insane but dang those paddle shifters were insanely freaking quick that was amazing bmw always crushes it with paddle shifters too especially in the sport plus driving mode that was just that was just nice <laughs> anyways let's now go ahead and find one more straight away let's put the acceleration now to the test with the grand coupe having full control and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right in three two one go no turbo lag Arrgh! This is why I review cars, you guys. Pop, 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 pop. For cars like this, gosh, I love that exhaust. This is why I love doing this for the past over eight years because I get to drive incredible cars like the M440i Grand Coupe and it will put a smile on your face, let me tell you. That is an incredible acceleration, definitely feels like zero to 60 in less than four seconds. And the beautiful part about this car is it's sent to all four wheels, at least in the case that we have here today. And why is that beautiful? Because I had a Mustang GT and the zero to 60 time for that one on paper is 3.9 seconds. But the only way you're getting that 3.9 is if you're on the track with like drag radials. That's the only way. If you're on the street, you're not gonna get any grip whatsoever. Even if you have super nice summer tires on a hot summer day, it ain't happening. So. With this, you got the power sent to all four wheels, so it instantly locks up with the road and you have an incredible acceleration. So I absolutely love this thing. Let me go ahead and take it out of sport driving mode so I don't wake up this entire neighborhood with this incredible exhaust. And as always, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes coming standard with blue calipers. I'll have you know, that is pretty cool. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at an incredible 109 feet. That is sports sedan if not race car good you guys that is an amazing number when it comes to 60 to zero as far as braking feel goes 
it is insanely on the firmer side of things. It instantly brings you to a stop. So 100% on point. The braking is wonderful here in this thing. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get an independent strut type front suspension. In the back, independent five link rear suspension, twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers. There is an M Sport suspension, of course, since we have the M440i and an M Sport differential. And for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it essentially distributes torque evenly so you get the best traction, best handling, things like that. But there is also an adaptive M suspension that is a available for only $550. I put it that way because a lot of times adaptive suspensions are available as an option for like $2,000. So for only $550, that is an option I would highly recommend. Why do I recommend that? Because it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a much smoother ride, but it also is going to tighten up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. So it really gives you the best of both worlds. And whenever I have got a chance to compare the same car with it having an adaptive suspension and with it not having an adaptive suspension, the most noticeable difference you will tell is with the ride quality. So if you wanted better ride quality, go with that option right there. That is why I traditionally always like to recommend it. But in terms of ride quality, speaking of, it has been perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today. So definitely absorbing Pennsylvania's road imperfections perfectly fine. As far as steering feel goes, it is a noticeable difference. I will say, dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in. Having said that, even in this comfort driving mode, we're still leaning on the heavier side of things as far as steering sensitivity. So I absolutely love that. And since we have the M440i, these 10 and two grips are the best of any other manufacturer out there. They are so thick. It gives the driver a much better feeling of being in control. It instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. I love the 10 and two grips on this BMW M440i without a doubt. So that is 100% on point as well. As far as cabin noise goes, we're going 21 miles per hour. So there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise or road noise coming into the cabin. But I will say, the exhaust, the popping on the exhaust, you do hear that and it's not overwhelming or anything, but it is wonderful. So that I do absolutely love. And touching on rear visibility here, I can see not as good as most other cars that I test drive, I will say that. Rear visibility is not as good as let's say a three series sedan or something like that. So it's because of the shape in the back. It's one of those things kind of like a Nissan 370Z or a Chevy Camaro. You will get used to it the more you drive the car. So it's not something that would personally bother me. It's just not as good as the competition, of course. But anyways, rain sensing windshield wipers do also come standard in terms of forward visibility. So whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So just one less thing you gotta worry about there. And there is a head up display available with the premium package that goes for approximately $1,600 and that will display your speed speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield and let me see something real quick it will actually change the loadout as well so it will give you a completely different head-up display dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in I absolutely love that that is so stinking cool anyways that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 BMW M440i Grand Coupe. All right, you guys, here she is, the new 2024 BMW M440i Grand Coupe, finished in black sapphire metallic. In case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one with us here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the M440i is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter W, indicating that this one is built and assembled in Germany, specifically Munich in case you guys were curious. But as always, let's go ahead and start up front. Of course, you have that BMW active kidney front grill. You guys can see it is shut right now, but literally it was just open because I had the vehicle on, so it was letting in more air to help cool down the engine. I love this active kidney front grill. I've always got a kick out of that with BMW, so big fan of that. You got some massive air curtains to the bottom corners there as well, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. Love that. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard. You get the automatic feature. You also get automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically then bounce it back up to high beams for you there. And I love the creases on the hood. I don't know if you guys can really see it from this angle, specifically because we've got a black exterior, but there are some really nice creases on that hood line. 
you probably can't see it but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right you guys so now since we are around to the side of this one let's go ahead and start with the mirrors actually power adjustable heated side mirrors with led integrated turret signals they are power folding as well and i like the design specifically it's kind of a c-shaped design and it's something that you don't traditionally see on other vehicles out there so big fan of that but you also have some functional air curtains on the front fenders and you know what i'm actually going to get up a little bit closer so i can show that to you guys you can actually see through it there uh, hopefully you can but you can see through it believe it or not they are functional so that's going to assist with aerodynamics there i definitely love that another thing look at the door handles they are flush with the body so that's going to assist with aerodynamics yet again bmw did a good job with the aerodynamics on this thing but anyways frameless door glass as well let me actually go ahead and show that to you guys if i open this up it's frameless there's no frame to the door glass i love that and that's of course because we have the grand coupe but then take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch double five spoke alloys do come standard but there are 18 19 and 20 inch designs available all of course adding to the price but we do have one of those optional designs by the way but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, body colored kind of shark fin antenna, kind of not, but it's up there. Nonetheless, you do have an M specific rear spoiler. That's what you guys are looking at up there. That definitely looks good as well. LED taillights do come standard on this one. You got the M440i badging, absolutely love that. Gloss black rear diffuser at the bottom, but perhaps my very favorite part, BMW always does a good job with their exhaust. Dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips, unless you go with the shadow line package which is what we have today and then you're going to kind of get these uh dark chrome tips i guess you could call them but nonetheless as i have alluded to this entire video so far this is going to be fun i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip <laughs> All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it actually is a power trunk that does come standard. So that's pretty stinking cool. You got the button on the key fob. There is a button on the trunk itself, of course, as well. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 16.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, the rear seats do fold down. That bumps that up to 45.6 cubic feet. So a good bit there. There is actually some chrome plated tie down anchors, a feature you traditionally don't find in sedans. It's usually an SUV thing. There's some LED cargo lighting, loved that. And a good bit of storage, kind of netted storage in the back left hand side there as well so i like how everything is finished in like a velar carpeting back there too that was pretty neat but anyways then make our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 34.9 inches for reference i'm an even six feet tall so how much space i had back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders there of course is rear ventilation back there as well do you have some charging ports and if you wanted heated rear seats that adds an additional 350 dollars but they are available so that is pretty cool too but then make our way up to the front seats power adjustable heated front seats do come standard Sensatec upholstery is going to come standard but there is a vernasca leather that goes for fifteen hundred dollars if you wanted to go that route memory settings though do come standard i like that ventilated front seats they go for 350 bucks if you wanted that and of course there are some package options that you can get them that way too but anyways as far as seat comfort goes it was perfectly fine for the most part there is all vertical seams everything was very adjustable so absolutely no issues whatsoever when it comes to seat comfort but now let's take a look at one of my favorite parts the tilt and telescoping steering wheel it is manually adjustable it is leather wrapped and since we have the m440i it is an m sport steering wheel which means it has super thick 10 and 2 grips i absolutely love that and if you wanted that heated steering wheel that button's located kind of just above the m logo down towards the bottom there that can be had with the premium package so Anyways, then make our way up to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. Since we have the M440i, you got your M colors on the side, but all of your buttons are located on one side of the key here. You got lock, unlock, the button to pop the power trunk there. Lock button, by the way, is the BMW logo, of course. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my front of the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of that little shifter there. And so once started up, this is what is new 
for 2024. This is the main thing, the new tech. You have a new BMW curved center display. So that includes the infotainment and the gauges. It's all one big screen and it is all together and it is curved. So that is pretty stinking cool. 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster essentially and they completely change colors dependent upon the drive mid that you put it in as I alluded to earlier. So that's pretty cool. You have how many miles you have left until you hit empty. You got your outside temperature. And like I said earlier as well, the head up display adjusts with the gauges dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in. I love this gauge cluster. It looks so stinking good. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. You got a power glass moonroof that does come standard. Thank you, BMW, for making that standard. Anthracite headliner also coming standard. Universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors found uh, on the bottom side of this rear view mirror here. Also coming standard. Multi-zone climate control. Love that. Wireless phone charger. Also coming standard. Multicolor ambient lighting. Also coming standard. By the way, I got to turn that on so I can share that to you guys later in this video. But overall, interior quality was absolutely amazing. I like how everything around the uh, circular dial and touchpad controller and the shifter and the start button, all that is finished kind of in a nice texturized design finish. And that's continued on just above the passenger side glove box. But traditionally, even luxury manufacturers will finish that in like a matte gray or a matte black. And that's boring, but I like that they put the design to it. A lot of contrast stitching in this thing, a lot of soft touch materials. BMW crushed it with their interior quality in this thing without a doubt. But now let's go ahead and make our way to that infotainment screen as I just alluded to. You get a 14.9 inch infotainment screen. And again, everything is curved towards the driver. It's more driver centric now, which is definitely a good thing. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You got a cloud-based navigation, factory navigation system with over-the-air map updates. So my theory is, if you can't be as good as Android Auto, Google Maps, then you might as well do the over-the-air map update. So that's absolutely wonderful. I love that BMW can do that. So well done, yet again. And by the way, this is the new iDrive 8 system for BMW. It can be operated by voice, it can be operated by touchscreen, or again, there's that circular dial and touchpad controller located just to the right of the shifter. Any of those ways is perfectly fine, but of course you can check out their ambient lighting settings up there as well, and your radio information. So when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. Standard setup is 10 speaker hi-fi sound system with 205 watts. That's all right, but there is an optional Harman Kardon sound system that comes with the premium package, which we got, of course. So having said that, let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> You guys, it's a freaking concert on wheels. That is incredible. That is a wonderful sound system. Holy crap, that was amazing. Yeah, the bass was, it was perfect. It, it was not too much, it was literally perfect. Clarity was brilliant. One of the best clarities I've experienced in a long time. That was an amazing sound system. You know what's funny? I test out so many Harman Kardon sound systems and they all sound different depending upon the vehicle that they are actually in because of the overall interior space and all that fun stuff. But that Harman Kardon sound system for this particular vehicle sounds absolutely 100% on point. Definitely get that one if you have any interest whatsoever in music. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention you guys on the infotainment screen, of course. So when you do put this thing in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. It is very high definition and you do get that 360 degree monitor to the right as well, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Also driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, adaptive cruise control, frontal collision warning, a blind spot monitor, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, and front and rear parking sensors then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the M440i Grand Coupe, excellent driving dynamics. Paddle shifters were insanely quick. Acceleration was insanely quick. 60 to zero and 109 feet is amazing. Steering sensitivity was 100% on point, especially in that sport driving mode. Everything about this car is a driver's car without a doubt. So absolutely had a blast driving this thing. Love the new curved tech display as well. I mean, BMW, if you're gonna improve something, that was definitely a good thing to improve because it looks absolutely amazing. Excellent looking car as well. I don't think anyone can argue with that. Excellent ambient lighting. They always 
absolutely crush it with that amazing Harman Kardon sound system as well. As far as room for improvement goes, uh, you got slightly snug rear seats. I mean, that's kind of what you get with 34 inches of rear legroom and the rear visibility is not gonna be as good as some of the competition, but in my personal opinion, I think that the styling on this one definitely makes up for it. But let me know what you guys think of the M440i Grand Coupe in the comments section below. I always love reading your comments and that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanna see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in a new car reviews because that is what we do here here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold